Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Wednesday. It is the 26th of August, 2020. I'm going to look at the seventh race from Saratoga, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. And also join me this upcoming Saturday for my Sword Dancer preview here from the spa and next Saturday for my Kentucky Derby preview. But let's get to the seventh race from Saratoga, which is the Mahoney Sticks, purse $85,000, race for three year olds here. We have a field of 11 horses heading to the Melon Turf course. Keep in mind, the 11 horses is MTO, so 10 will head to that Melon Turf course. The distance of ground of 1,100 meters with the five and a half furlong trip on that Melon Turf course. Did I say the word melon enough? I don't think I did. Five and a half furlongs here on that Melon Turf course. <laughs> and the, the portable rails are up today at 27 feet, so they're considerably out. I'm going to take the number five horse here, Old Chestnut, as a top selection. We'll go 5, 9, 8, 10 in the Super Effective. 5, 9, 8, 10 Super. Top selection, five horse, Old Chestnut. Three are called by Spice Town. Junior Alvarado gets the mount for Marcassi. The horse's most recent out. He came 24th of July here at Saratoga. Five and a half furlongs in the grade three quick call stakes. And the horse finished second by one three-quarter lengths there. He didn't have the best trips that day. A little bit in and out and a little bit wide. You know, he closed up well late. You know, if he runs that, if he gets a better trip and he's going to see a good pace to close up with, I think he could get a little bit better run. You know, he showed d determination that day. Two back at Belmont, six furlongs in the Sir Cat Stakes. The horse finished third by two lengths. Again, didn't break all that well. Never weakened out of it. Quickened up a little, a little bit. You know, he, he definitely improved with the next race there. And then before then, the Jimmy Wingfield, Sarato excuse me, in Aqueduct, seven furlongs in mid-February. He finished fourth by four lengths. He went, he ran okay. He didn't break that well, but he, he closed up well. For a dirt debut, it was an average kind of run. And then before then, the Central Park at Aqueduct on the turf, mile 16th there mid uh, in early December. An early December turf course at Aqueduct is very sludgy, and he just wasn't handling it. Finishing seven by 14 and a half lengths it wasn't the day to win. I don't think he's a router. I think he's a turf sprinter. Before that, he had a okay fifth place finish in the Atlantic Beach, beach where, where he had a little bit of a trouble trip, uh, but his races, um, you know, if, if you look at those Woodbine races last season, those are very good run races. He's coming to this race, getting better with every single race at 12 to 1. I think he's a very likely winner, so we'll use him here. Second likely this winner is Nine Horse Jack and Noah, the stable mate. You know, he, he just didn't get a good trip last time out in the quick call, but if he runs that Sir Cat or even the um, the Atlantic Beach from last year, I think he could win. At 4 to 1, let's use him on the multis. So to recap my selection for the 7th from Saratoga's to Mahoney Stakes, let's take the 5 Horse Old Chestnut. We'll also use the stable mate, the Nine Horse Jack and Noah. We'll go 5 Nine eight two eight five nine eight ten in the Superfecta five nine in the multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get Five. Good luck, everybody.